Facebook fam, what's going on guys? Joe Dickinson, wanted to shoot a very quick video explaining an experience that I literally just had 10 to 15 minutes ago. And within that experience hold a very powerful training, a very powerful concept to, to talk about right now. And it's about hearing no, you know, I'm sure being a network marketer, you guys have heard no so many times. And that's an incredible thing, by the way. You know, they say that the person who hears the most no's becomes the most successful. And it's so true. It's kind of like Babe Ruth, every time he striked out, he knew he was one closer to a home run. So things to consider, right? So never be afraid to hear no. In fact, I'll smile sometimes for two reasons. I know I'm that much closer to a yes, and it's a learning experience, right? Why'd you hear no? You know, so anyways, things to consider. But but anyways, back to the story. So Paul Scott, he's involved in V Fasano with me. Incredible guy, shout out to you, man. He was about to get on an op call. Uh, he shared with me, you know, 15, 20 minutes ago, he said he was about to get on it. He got on the op call and the guy said no to him. He's too busy right now. And so Paul shot me a text and said, hey, it's not for him right now, he's super busy, but I'm gonna send him the opportunity video and get some referrals from him. And guys, that's a super powerful thing. If you ever hear no from someone, they're just saying no, not right now, or no, it's not for me right now. They're not saying no to you, right? They're just saying no, it's not for them. So it's okay to say, well, hey, I gotta ask, man, do you know anyone who'd be interested in something like this? Or do you know anyone who's been looking for an opportunity? Or do you know anyone who's open-minded who might be intrigued and in hearing about what I just shared with you? And usually if they say no to you, they probably feel somewhat bad, so then they're gonna give you a referral. You know, and not to mention when you go speak with those referrals, the beauty of it is you have a reference point. So when they give you three or four referrals or even one or two, you can say, hey, you know, Jimmy referred to you and said this might be something that you're interested in. And now all of a sudden there's a connection point. So my point being is, well, two things. One, don't be scared to hear no. In fact, embrace it. It's a beautiful thing. And number two, if you get a no, just say, well, hey, listen, do you know, do you know of anyone that might be interested in hearing about this or who's open to this opportunity or you think it might be a fit for them? Never be scared to exhaust all your resources, right? So use referrals, very powerful things. Guys, I'm gonna get a little bit more consistent, by the way, with these training videos. I know a lot of you guys like them, so they're gonna be coming out rolling every single day. By the way, hopefully you guys noticed a little marketing behind me, my link, of course, right? Work with Joe Dickinson.com. So if you guys do wanna know what I'm up to, for sure, check that out. Reach out to me as always. I'm always here to help you guys. But anyways, power of referrals. Make it happen. If you hear a no, don't be scared to ask for them. And with that being said, we will see you on the next training, which will happen tomorrow. I guarantee it. Talk to you in a bit. Peace out.